What's going on guys, this is JT Tucky. Welcome to another episode of Guitar Seduction where we learn a song on guitar to help you mack on that special someone into falling in love with you. And today we're doing Back at One by Brian McKnight. If that's what you're into, consider subscribing. Now let's go ahead and level up guitar. One by Brian McKnight. What a terrific love song for macking. I'm gonna really enjoy this one. First of all, put the capo onto the fourth fret. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go over the chords and then we will look at the strumming pattern and then we will combine it all together. So we've got a G. Next we have E minor. Next, we got C add 9. For C add 9, you are not supposed to play the 6th string, so you can either wrap your thumb around the guitar neck and just kind of touch the 6th string lightly, but if your thumb or your hand is not big enough or it's just not comfortable for you, you can also do what I do and take your middle finger and just kind of raise it up a little bit so that it touches the 6th string lightly and that will mute it as well. And the fourth and last chord you need is the D. So uh, in the first verse, we play that sequence of G, E minor, C add 9, D. We play that sequence twice. And then after that, we do a C add 9 one more time. And then we end the verse with a D. The chords for the chorus, it's exactly the same thing and the same sequence. So the same sequence of G, E minor, C add 9, D. We play that sequence twice and then you end the chorus with a G. And those are all the chords that you need. Now looking at the strumming pattern and the plucking pattern, if you liked how I plucked it at the beginning demonstration. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I like to pluck the verse and then I strum the chorus. But if you want, you can also strum the verse. Uh, that's completely fine too. So how did I pluck the verse? This is how I did it, okay? So starting with a G, I hit the sixth string and then fourth and then second string and then third string. So I do that twice for the G chord. And then next, the E minor chord, exact same thing. Six, four, two, three. Do that twice. Next, we get into C add nine. Okay, so start by hitting the fifth string, then fourth, and then second string, and then third string, and you do that twice. And lastly, you get into a D chord. So start with the fourth string, and then third string, and then second string, and then back to third string. Now the beautiful thing about this plucking pattern is that it's very forgiving, okay? 
the general concept that you can play around with if you don't want to be exactly precise yet it'll still sound great is you start with the first bass note and then you hit another bass note and then you hit one of the high notes and then you hit one of the middle notes <laughs> that's all it is so uh, the the lowest bass note and then another bass note and then maybe the second highest string and then the middle one of the middle strings for the strumming pattern i play it like this down down up up down 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 up and then i switch the chord and then do the exact same thing again down down up up down 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 up switch the chord down down up up down 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 up switch the chord down down up up down 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 up now let's combine it all together starting from the top i'm going to do the plucking version so with the g chord it's undeniable e minor we should be together c at nine to D. G. The bass is only to know. E minor. Na, na, how I feel. C at night. Na, 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 I'm for real. D. C at night. All things in time, time will reveal. Yeah, and then G. True E minor two, just wanna be with you. C at nine, girl, it's plain to see. D, you're the only one for me. G, na, 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 na. E minor, na, 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 with me. C at nine, I believe my work is done. D, I'll start it back at yeah, G. And then we play the verse and then the chorus again, exact same way, and that is pretty much the entire song. Alright, thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this episode of Guitar Seduction, be sure to drop a like down below, and until next time, keep leveling up guitar, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.